I took the 9mm automatic, sat down on the bed and put the gun to my head, and I blew a 4-inch hole out the back of my arm instead of my head. Prozac did this to me. Had someone looked further into Prozac, believed me, even mentioned early on of the so-called remote possibility that Prozac could cause any of these adverse effects, especially the act of putting a loaded gun to my head, to want to die so violently, steps could have been taken to avoid it. I had two sons, David Lee, age 8, Billy 16, the wife 20 years all gone. I'll tell you why. After being on Prozac for 21 days, my wife shot and killed both of these two boys right here. She turned the gun to herself and shot herself twice. The second time that she was placed on Prozac, she secretly purchased a gun on August, and on August the 25th. She shot herself on the head and died on August the 27th. This is hard for me because I tried to commit suicide in front of my five children. I didn't know what I was doing. I don't remember exactly what happened. All I know is that my husband took the gun away from me and my children was looking from the other room. If my husband wasn't there, I wouldn't be here. My children wouldn't have a mother. One woman earlier spoke of near, nearly committing suicide in front of her children. My sister did commit suicide in front of Lindsay. Another woman spoke of hollow point bullets. That's what my sister used to do it. My sister would have never, never killed herself in front of this little girl. She would have never done that. Prozac induced her to do that. I attacked him with a kitchen knife. Luckily, he's bigger and stronger than I am, and he defended himself. But I did this right in front of my son. I thought, I can't believe what I'm doing. I don't believe what I'm doing. This is wrong. Then I decided that I was going to kill myself. The bottom line is, I was never suicidal before taking Prozac. I was obsessed with suicide while taking Prozac, and the obsession stopped immediately after stopped, I stopped taking Prozac. Unfortunately, with my dad, we didn't have time to notice too many changes, except that he became withdrawn and agitated. But that, by that time, it was too late. He got up at 9 o'clock in the morning, um, took a 12-inch butcher knife out of the kitchen drawer and stabbed himself violently in the abdomen once and then proceeded to do it twice. By the 14th day, I was experiencing such intensified fear that I could not stand to face life as it was for me anymore. There was, to my mind, no hope and no future where suicide had never been a logical solution for any reason for me, it now became my only solution because I had nothing left with which to fight and I was terrified to go on living. This drug is most assuredly responsible for any torment or suffering and the eventual suicide of my husband. I was totally out of control. My friends were aghast at my deteriorating mental state or, but were afraid to speak to me about it because of my agitated state of mind. During this time, it is a miracle I did not harm myself or others. I had become a menace to society, and the FDA is allowing this to happen. I want to know why. How many more people are going to be killed and maimed before you do something? You have the power to change things. You have the power to listen to what we say and investigate what we say. We need help. Class action waivers have been granted to the following members. K. Mean Lin for his interest in Merck, Jeffrey Lieberman for his interest in Sandoz, Robert Hammer for his interest in Bristol Myers Squibb, James Claghorn for his interest in Sandoz and Smith Klein Beecham, David Dunner for his interest in Sandoz, Burroughs Welcome, American Home Products, including Wyeth Labs and A.H. Robbins, Eli Lilly, Pfizer, Siba Geige, Warner Lambert, including Park Davis, Smith Klein Beecham, and Bristol Myers Squibb. I'll ask the, the committee to uh, vote on the following statement. There is credible evidence to support a conclusion that antidepressant drugs cause the emergence and or intensification of suicidality and or other violent behaviors. 
Those in favor of that statement vote yes. Those opposed to that statement, no. And Dr. Dunner has left a proxy, uh, which makes it a unanimous of 10-0.